Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to generate an effect size measure that you might find useful when evaluating the fit of your binary logistic model when you're performing your analysis using SPSS. This procedure is actually uh, discussed in Tabachnik and Fidel's textbook and also reviewed uh, in the context of Scott Menard's 2011 article and it simply entails correlating the predicted probabilities of target group membership with the actual group membership on your dependent variable. So to demonstrate this, we'll take a quick look at our data set. We have uh, in our data set, we've got uh, this pass variable right here. This is going to be our dependent variable. And what we have is uh, sort of uh, simulated or fictional student data. And for this pass variable, we have a value of 0 indicating that a student did not pass an exam. And, and then a value of 1 indicates that a student did pass an exam. And we're going to predict this pass variable as a function of anxiety, mastery goals, and interest. So to generate our effect size measure, what we're going to do is run our analysis just by going back through the regression menu going under binary logistic right here and running the model we'll just put our pass variable into the dependent variable box and anxiety mastery and interest over into the covariates box and we'll click on save next we'll click on predicted values and so the predicted probabilities that we've selected right here this is the probability of a case falling into into the target outcome group so in this case the way that we've coded this where basically zero is representing uh, the student did not pass and one indicates that the student did pass what we're trying to do is to predict the probability of each of our students passing the exam so we're going to generate a new variable in our data set which is the predicted probability so when we run our analysis you'll see, I'll kind of scroll over a bit here, that we have a column now of predicted probability. So you can see the first case in our data set had a 29% probability of passing the exam based on our model. You can see the second person had a 30, roughly 37% chance. The third person had about a 56% chance. So that's all there is to it in terms of generating the predicted probabilities. The next step is simply to run the correlation between them. So I'm going to go to analyze correlate bivariate and we'll move our pass variable over to the variables box and we'll move the predicted probabilities over to this box as well. Then we'll click on OK and you'll see that we get the correlation between our pass variable and predicted probability which is about 0.287. So this is actually a fairly modest correlation uh, between the predicted probabilities and actual group membership. But as you can see it's also pretty intuitive to understand. Next if we wanted to square that predicted probability to talk about the proportion of shared variation between those, we could do that very easily just by uh, squaring that correlation. So I could just take the 0.287 and then squaring it. And so now you can see that we get 0 0.082369. So basically they share, those two variables share approximately 8% common variance. So that's basically all there is to it. Um, as I said, this is a very easy approach to generating um, you know, an effect size measure related to your logistic regression. There are, obviously, when you run your analysis, there are other indices that are given to you. Uh, for instance, you'll get the pseudo R-square values. You'll get um, you know, the chi-square uh, model fit test and so forth. But this might be a useful supplement. Uh, in your presentation. And again, these are discussed in the Tabachnik and Fidel book and in Menard's article, and I will include uh, those, those uh, citations underneath the video description. So that's all there is to it, and I hope you have a good day.